Hi folks, this is all the fruit and today I want to show you what to do with durian seeds. Again and again when you search the internet you find the references that durian seeds are edible or are being eaten on some occasions, but you kind of get the impression that they are generally not really being eaten a lot. When I asked my friend Ringos from the Bidayu people, in Kampung, in Kampung Pichin village, in Sarawak in Borneo, he said, we don't eat them. Um, I asked, why not? He said, well, when we have nothing else to eat, we will eat them, but when we have other things to eat, we don't eat them. They are not so good. What you can actually do, he said, is put them on the fire when you're in the jungle, and then they are kind of okay to eat. So, a couple days ago they started making fried durian for me, because I like it so much, they make it every day. Fried banana, here on the left side, is actually a traditional dish in all of Malaysia and in most of Southeast Asia. Fried durian is not made so commonly, but here is one piece on the right. Like They also didn't make it before, they tried it out for me, and we liked it all. That when you fry the durian, of course you also heat the seed. With the domestic bananas, this is not an issue because there are no real seeds left. With the champedak, which people sometimes fry, I once ate fried champedak. Mm, so sweet and aromatic. <laughs> when you eat this the first time, you don't believe this is a real fruit. You believe that this is some artificial flavor. When you eat the fried champarak, turns out the... Mm, mm, okay, here. The heat was not enough to properly fry the seeds. When I ate fried champarak, I think it was on Bintulu Night Market, the seeds were actually heated to a temperature that they were also nice and edible. But here, my friends, they did not, they did not, maybe did not use so much oil or did not heat it so long. Here the seed is still completely raw. So, okay, I wanted to show you how good champerak seeds taste when you eat them out of the fried champerak, but it seems it depends on the way you fry them. Well, anyways, since fried champarak tasted so good last time, I decided to eat or to try the durian seeds from the fried durian. Hmm. In this case, this even tastes better. I don't know. They must have fried the champarak just for a very short time. Well, the durian and the bananas are a bit blackish. The champarak is still completely yellow. I think they fried this for a shorter time because the arrows are very thin. Hmm. The durian seed in this case is actually better, more fried because durian was fried longer into a higher temperature. Okay, when I tried it for the first time, I noticed why they use this more as an emergency food. It's kind of edible, but it's a bit tough, a bit slimy, a bit tasteless. A couple of days ago, we made boiled champedak seeds and um, grilled seeds of different other artocarpo species, they all tasted pretty good. This durian seed, yes, it tastes edible, but it's nothing special. I also asked them to cook some durian seeds in water. They cooked them quite long. How, how long did you... Uh, one hour. One hour. You cooked them one hour. Well, with some seeds... With some foodstuffs, it's important to cook them long enough to make them palatable or destroy toxins. So they cook those one hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's definitely better than this one. And better than this one because this is still pretty much raw. But this one, if prepared, Properly, I did not ask them to prepare it in a way that the seed is edible. They prepared it for the arrows. And this one, if prepared properly, would be a thousand times tastier. But let's see. So the durian seed. 
Houston. It tastes like a pretty boring chestnut. This would taste like a really good aromatic chestnut. The durian seed tastes like a boring chestnut. It is still a bit slimy even after one hour of cooking. Like not really bad. But basically nothing special. Yes, special. Like a no no taste by Cebu. Taste wise it's nothing special. It's a bit like a underhelming chestnut, a bit like an underhelming potato. Definitely edible. Uh, did you put salt with the with the BG durian? Ah, so they added some salt that helps with the taste. I think if you would cut them into pieces and make them with spices, it would be quite okay because those are big seeds. They are nutritious. You can make something out of them, but just salt, in this case, is not enough to give them enough interesting flavor. Also, Ringa said that he watched a video in Indonesia. They collect a lot of the seeds and kind of dry them and roast them and uh, no, dry them and how was it? They dry them and cook them, boil them. Ah, uh, and then uh, then they crush them, mm. and then they make a uh, a flour or a powder out of it. And with this powder, they can make everything like cakes and crackers and so on. So durian seeds definitely a resource you should keep in mind. Right now there is durian harvest everywhere, so there are big piles of durian seeds and husks lying around everywhere. So it turns out the seeds do have some potential, mostly as famine food, but I think with proper seasoning you can even put them on the everyday table, because people are very much interested in durian, and the new way of eating durian is quite, quite interesting and intriguing. Yeah, definitely need some better seasoning, maybe some longer cooking to remove the sliminess. But um, I see it with potential. However, when I ask them if something can be made out of the husks, usually the seeds, the Iban people feed them to the pigs because they are very nutritious. With the husks, the Bidayu said, no, the only thing you can use them for is actually fertilizer in the garden. So folks, those were durian seeds, fried inside the aerial and inside butter, or cooked for one hour with salt. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and incredibly fruit-rich island of Borneo, from the incredibly inventive Pidayu people who, I don't know how every evening they managed to get me a couple new and unknown vegetables or a couple new and unknown preparation methods for the vegetables. Thumbs up to them and their great cooking. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.